Oh. Can you hear us? <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure you wait. Hold on, yeah, you're recording. Right, hi guys, you all right? Hi. So I'm just this, I'm just wanting to know a little bit about your tackling inequalities project. So I just wondered if you'd be able to give me a bit of an overview about what the project was about and what you got the funding for. We applied for funding for our Big Fish project, which we did down... Uh, behind one of the large superstars in town on the Clue Dock. And it was just after we'd come out of COVID and we had about we had 20 people each session. We had two sessions each week. So about between 35 and 40 um, family members came down. They're all socially distanced along the pier. And thanks to the funding, we were able to buy fishing rods and bait and weights. And most importantly, flasks to make hot chocolate. Uh, <laughs> essential items essential <laughs> items too right and the idea was that families who don't normally have the financial support to be able to go fishing were able to try a new activity and try to do something a little bit different so Dean like you like fishing don't you I don't know very much about fishing but I learned very quickly so the idea was that young people would learn a new hobby it would help them to be active. And because we were in the town centre, it meant people could walk there or they could cycle there. And what we found was people would come in and bring in picnic and wanting to stay. And yeah, it was interesting what we caught. Wasn't it? Was it on Monday? A young lad, his first fish he's ever caught. It was a little warm fish with spikes. Yeah, and he was so proud. He had his picture oh. taken. He was showing all his friends. That was a really proud moment. Well, we had people aged from two-year-olds up to probably the 60s. It was a wow. real generation. And what was lovely was they were all helping each other. And at first I was thinking, how are the children going to respond to this? But they absolutely loved it. And they loved putting their lines. And they were amazing at casting out, weren't they? Mm -hmm. um, we had one little hiccup whereby we went the tide we had to judge it with the tides so we went down and the tide was it was the low tide because the children were so little they couldn't cast far enough to get it in so we had to decamp back to the, the deeper waters in the dock but the kids absolutely loved it didn't they and the 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 bit that surprised me was i mean do you want to say about the weights and the fishing and how we did it because I didn't know much about the fishing side of it, did I really? Well, there was 20 turning up, so I was on, it was like I was setting them up myself, really, getting there yeah, an hour yeah. before, trying to set it all up, and it was getting a, a bit much on it. So, anyway, some of the dads start, once they'd learned, they picked up so quick, and they were coming down and helping me the week, you know, the, the next week. So, and it turned into a really regular thing, didn't it? It was like regular people coming, and all, what that stood out to me was a lot of them were ladies that were wanting to come. Yeah, really? yeah. In the end, we had more mums and daughters doing it, which was a surprise to us than we have dads and sons doing it. And it goes to the we have to live it in places, didn't it? Um, one little family whereby the little boy came along with his mum and his dad, and he really enjoyed it. He was about three and a half, and he had to go with his dad's big rod. And the next week, he came. With his own little fishing rod. Little telescopic. Telescopic one. Chuffed. He was so chuffed. And he goes fishing now. What his dad was saying was how he actually loves it. And on an evening, rather than sitting watching telly, what they do is they go and they go fishing together. And they go and they go every, he was saying they were going every night, weren't they? Fishing. And he was so proud when he got his first fish and he took a picture and they sent it to us. So it was amazing. It was absolutely brilliant. But some of the things we caught in the dock weren't necessarily fish. We caught a mobile phone and uh, a bit of rope, um, a bit of, what was that? Some sort of charger and then a rotten sandwich. So we caught a lot of fish in the dock. Not necessarily all fish, but interesting well, things. Excited. Oh, they were absolutely over the moon and just helping them to have fresh air. And what was lovely was there was a little group of about eight children who all got to know each other and they all chatted to each other they all developed that and the children who perhaps might have been a little bit socially awkward yeah so they yeah. learned how to relate to each other um and they were playing 
fatigue and all sorts when they're waiting. There was a lot of friendships built. And I think for us, one of the biggest learnings for me is how through a sport like that, families have men maintain and sustain their friendships. So they see each other about now. People and you went to the um fishing resource, was it? Uh, we got fishing? contacted um John got the uh, John Gollaghy. Yeah. Um, yeah. He asked us to come and join. They do an open where anyone can join in. So they invited the big fish down and a one. But the longest fish, the biggest fish, using a rod that would um, got out of the, the funding, sorry, yeah. And um, so I think we won £90. Wow, <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So that, I mean, that was good. Like you were going to a group of people yeah, yeah. yeah. they gave us some money didn't they helped and supported us um so the fishing community that's where the new kids on the block they have really supported us to be part of it and they're really pleased that we've got young families coming along and joining in and they're quite they are they're really supportive when they do they? have the open we do yeah and we go to join in say the families we join a lot we try and use them yeah and the other thing is it, it can cost to go into the open so what we do is we pay because our family's really struggle financially what we would do is offer to pay for some of their places um from the winnings that being then won in that competition so yeah it worked well it was good fun it was good fun and the hot chocolate was amazing <laughs> <laughs> it did um yeah it was good and we had children from all yeah from lots of different schools it's great isn't it because yeah. what you're doing there you're not just giving people fresh air you're encouraging families to spend time together and with other families but you're also growing the sport that must be what the fishing association are, are pleased of as well because you always yeah. want more people to love your sport and be part of it and especially the younger ones coming through i mean you know it's great isn't it and it's like you say it's something that they don't just have to do it with you guys. They can go fishing on their own, especially like the teenagers and things. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's a really good thing. And I think one of the things we found was, because with the location we did it in, in the end, every week we went to the same location because we found that worked better. Yeah. Initially, yeah. In, our, in our application, we said we're going to go to different sites, but we realised people like routine and predictability, yeah. especially if our families have had, you know, difficult... And we have to work around the ties. And we have to work around the ties, which some is of the a challenge. <laughs> So what we found though was because it's a cycle way as well, families would go past on their bikes and then stop and say, can we have a go? So it wasn't just our families, it was new yeah. families who were passers yeah. by yeah. saying, Oh, can we join in? When how often are you here? And so it it was a wider audience than the audience we'd originally thought it would reach. Oh, so that was good. Yeah. That's so good. And it's something positive, isn't it? In these COVID yeah. times, it's something yeah. really positive. So I just I just want to say thank you for making this project possible for having the vision and everything else. And I just hope in the future that you want to work with us again and see what else I, we can do. I remember saying to you, oh, how about fishing? And it was like, oh, that's different. <laughs> Ooh, and we, really, are, we are different. I really appreciate the opportunity to do it. Because what we're doing now is, because we've still got COVID challenges, what we're saying to you people is if they want to borrow a rod, yeah. go with a group of friends, then we will loan them the rod and then they bring it back and they can borrow it again. So rather than us organising, because we're only allowed in sixes, what we're saying to young people is if they want to go with their friends, they can borrow the equipment, we'll support them to do it, but we'll we'll make sure that it's, it's in working order for it to go back out again. So it is getting used all year round. That's so fun. thank you. Thank you, Emma, and thank you to Spot Holland. Yeah. Yeah. No, honestly, it's been great. Thank you so much. Honestly, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.